So um, regarding um, regarding um, knowledge and being unique, there is this um, interesting no knowledgeable, knowledgeable person called Cullen Smith. Um, he has a channel called Lifting the Veil, and basically. He knows this. This is not actually. This is not going to be a good review, to be honest. I must say. Okay. First of all, I can. And and before saying my negative stuff, I I want to say just uh, that I can watch his stuff and I can see things and I can learn things from it. Okay. I do learn from seeing his stuff. Uh, but what bothers me is a few things about this and and why why do I have to bother about something well uh, it has to do with the with the things like um, someone understanding knowledge someone understanding knowledge uh, deep esoteric knowledge uh, to a large extent but not showing signs of um, the typical signs of illumination and that bothers me because most people that go deep into these things uh, experience retrocausality, synchronicity, and there will be material about that. On uh, th there will be a large deal of material about that subject because that is um, that's very important to talk about uh, the. The way that a person will psychologically react to a new world that opens up to them where things seems, things seems to be connected. But the strange thing here is that um, Colin Smith um, lifting the whale is solely intellectual. And he expresses this this um, knowledge very intelligently but it, this is the weird thing I'm, I am criticizing him because it is um, giving me some red red flags or, or uh, warning signs that it's weird okay and he he kind of continued the work of true theory a person that I admire okay so this is the true theory guy he made this book I have it in my hand behind the emerald door it's an excellent book and I would say, uh, I would say, I would personally say that uh, Cullen Smith managed to go even deeper than this book here that I, and this person that I admire, Cullen, uh, that I admire, um, Christopher Clay Lord, Christopher Lord is his name, this guy to the left. Um, and uh, yeah, I basically I hugely admire admire this guy Christopher Lord for his unique uh, knowledge that he presented during years many years of time not no longer present really in in the internet space uh, uh, I guess he left uh, did other stuff I don't know uh, but so what bothers me is that is that Cullen Smith has this huge wisdom that or knowledge 
that that he shares and um, but never ever talks about the obvious the elephant in the room which he should have stumbled on the elephant in the room is the is the synchronicity the retrocausality the psychological nature of enlightenment and how it affects you in a in a kind of alien way you know in a strange way things that you need to talk about if you experience it you need to talk about it because it's just weird you know uh, and also what I also noticed that worries me is that and this is a bit petty you know and that's why I haven't said it so far is that he has his hair often the same way as Christopher Lord Christopher Lord has his hair on one side like that maybe that's just a coincidence you know maybe and this this makes me think of uh, of uh, like scripted reality uh, fractal reality sure people look the same uh, but it is a bit worrying to me that it looks the same it looks a bit the same sure he's dark haired the other one is light haired and um, yeah uh, so um, of course when I understand something that is deep I can see that he understood it like there is this retrocausal interaction with Cullen Smith that um, irritates me uh, that I, re I realize something unique and then I noticed that he talked a bit about similar stuff oh it bothers me you know because because it's always like they they miss a few things they don't see the entire um, trail of of thought uh, and uh, but again uh, yeah it's it's just weird to me how how it can be like this um, that it it gives signals of this scripted reality not allowing me to be um, unique not allowing me to have um, a value basically and uh, uh, and then I see how this person here has the same hair as as this other guy and doesn't really care about being unique but instead copying someone and I'm thinking like how can someone that is so um, is so thinks about copying someone else I mean at some extent when it comes to being I, I mean I, I consider myself to be enlightened but I don't consider it to be maybe a good thing I don't know <laughs> okay just so you know um, I, I sometimes did videos I sometimes did a few videos sa saying that you should take the blue pill, not the red pill. You know, <laughs> I did that. So, you know, um, and I do have a bit of problems in my life. Uh, so whatever. Okay. Um, whatever about that. Uh, but yeah, he's the thing about enlightenment in my opinion or some people don't like that word okay but the thing about that is that you cannot really admire other people too much okay so if you start copying other people's hair in my opinion <clears throat> it's it's weird and it's it's not 
it's not how I recognize um, enlightenment because it has to do with going alone enlightenment and it has to do with being being alone and being uh, lonely also uh, and you cannot really have a self image that makes you copy another person and this is not the biggest thing this is not the biggest biggest sign to me that there's something weird going on here and again as I said in, in the beginning he is presenting extremely interesting stuff and intriguing stuff um, but again it bothers me how there is nothing about about uh, uh, about uh, uh, retrocause retrocausality the, the the you know seeing a world that is a f is full of lies uh, the psychological strain um, he just seems so strong and so um, so uh, un unbothered by admiring someone else to this degree I also admire I, I don't admire actually I don't do that but I can see the value in Christopher Lord's work uh, in how this guy to the left and how it, it was a massive impact to maybe just a few of us but you know good stuff um, but I don't grow out my hair and have it on the same side like that so if reality would be scripted considering all of these things this could be someone playing out a role to seem like having um, having uh, how do you say enlightenment okay but that's also the thing he he doesn't he doesn't show the the symptoms which are like uh, maddening maddening you will feel like you're mad like many of people on YouTube is talking and they feel like they're freaking crazy this guy Colin Smith he doesn't show weakness he, he has clear eyes uh, and he he is he seems almost happy with what what he's finding but you know finding truth and knowledge has not to do with happiness in my opinion how how would that has to have to do with that in what way have truth ever made you happier well that's not the case you're interested in truth because of a higher purpose uh, because you are uh, virtuous basically that that's so simple that's how simple it is okay you are virtuous so you're interested in truth and that's that's how simple it is and it has nothing to do with happiness on the contrary uh, so it bothers me how this ma this man that creates videos of knowledge and wisdom has no symptoms of enlightenment and it bothers me how he seemingly seemingly is copying this other man's um, style okay it bothers me and it bothers me you know 
maybe, maybe, you know, uh, whatever. He's, he's, he's not even showing signs of madness, you know. Not showing signs of madness, okay. Being psychologically unbalanced. I never saw it in him. He's just so strong, this Cullen Smith. He never has... He's so used to being in a metamorphosis transformation. It's, it's like... And, and to me, it screams... It screams fake. Even though he presents this amazing knowledge that even I can learn from. But at the same time, I do have a chat GTP that I can ask for knowledge. And I mean, it's, it's almost like an intelligent machine, Cullen Smith. Okay, so, so as you can see, I am bothered by this because when he's come this far, he should have shown signs of being crazy. Like to the to the regular people. But it could very well be that he he um, he has his uh, he he just is very uh, cool about this. Um, I don't think you, I don't think you can be cool about these kind of things. You have to talk about it because it's psychological. It's all around you because this the psyche is all around you. Your own psyche is all around you, like mine is all around me. And uh, yeah. And if if I wouldn't have released a book about about uh, about the philosopher's stone, this guy would have made it before me. There would have been this retrocausal effect. But I did this search for limestone uh, before I released the book, and I know there was not nothing there. So, you know, <clears throat> I'm just saying. This path is not easy. It's not easy, guys. It's hard, okay? And he's too relaxed about it. And he is admiring this other guy too much. I also like Christopher Lord to the left that made this book, right? I also like his work. And I can see the value in him, but yeah, you can you 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 actually you you cannot uh, if you want to reach my state of enlightenment that has nothing to do with happiness. Actually, I can say uh, I just want to cry <laughs> seriously, but then. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm back. Sorry. <laughs> a bit of emo emotions, okay? You cannot you cannot admire me also. Uh, like just like Callan Smith admires um, Christopher Lord there to the left. Um, if you want to reach some kind of enlightenment, you cannot ad admire me, okay? It cannot be like that. And I mean, why why would you like enlightenment? Look at me. Listen to me now, right? 
why why would you want it seriously <laughs> Okay, I'm back. It's it's very it's very it's very just very hard, okay? And um yeah. But I will continue my my path. And uh, I will um, change and and my my message will change as as time goes um yeah that's how it is <laughs> so yeah i'm i'm very critical against um and, and skeptical against um lifting the veil and Callan smith at the same time I am following his channel. I think he's very uh, he has very good things to say. Uh, so good things that I am suspicious. I am suspicious because he's he's so good and he shows no signs of enlightenment. Only the only the I don't know. I don't know actually it's like he has the appearance like physical appearance you know he doesn't look that like other people normally guys have short hair he has long hair he, he is like very liberal like he has this appearance you know the appearance of a spiritual leader you know um, I'm I'm a spiritual leader, but why uh, why would you want to go where I go? Actually, I don't know. I don't know. Um, okay, I'll. I'll end this video now, we'll see if it stays up, see you guys.